Solana is one of the most prominent blockchains for NFTs and decentralized finance, DeFi. In 2022, interest in Solana NFTs has skyrocketed, and its native token, SOL, is seventh in market cap. Solana delivers faster and cheaper transactions to users. Thus, various leading platforms are integrating with Solana. Solana users are expanding as additional integrations are introduced. But before we continue our video, hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon now. Web3's biggest success is Solana NFTs. Unfortunately, onboarding to new blockchains and NFT marketplaces remains difficult. We'll help you join the Solana ecosystem. So prepare to become an expert on Solana, how it works, why crypto and NFTs are so popular, and how to make the most of this new world. Solana is an open source blockchain. It hosts scalable decentralized applications, dApps. Solana supports smart contracts like most major blockchains. Since smart contracts mint and trade NFTs, assign ownership, allow users to access digital assets in the NFT, and so on, this is crucial. Solana addresses the high prices and sluggish transaction speeds that limit Ethereum and Bitcoin's scalability. In 2017, blockchains could only process 15 transactions per second TPS. This TPS was pitiful compared to credit card firms' hundreds. Blockchain transactions require fees. During a big NFT launch, these costs can reach hundreds of dollars. Solana resolved both issues. Solana now outperforms Visa and MasterCard in speed and scalability. One of crypto's fastest growing ecosystems, the blockchain has cheap transaction fees. SOL's market cap exceeded $10 billion as of writing. Solana uses POS slash PO techniques. These algorithms differ from Bitcoin and other POW techniques. POW needs computers to compete to solve complicated puzzles to add blocks and transactions to the blockchain. These puzzles need a lot of computing power and energy to solve. Solana eliminates these puzzles. Thus, it has better TPS performance and less environmental degradation. Proof of stake POS users stake cryptocurrencies to be randomly selected as block validators. POS crypto holders stake Solana crypto to a validator. Validators are machines chosen to add the next block of transactions on the Solana blockchain based on how much Solana currency their owners have invested, along with a set of other requirements. Selected validators receive SOL. Proof of stake fosters Solana SOL crypto user loyalty. By assessing the network participants' commitment, i.e. the quantity of crypto they staked and rewarding the most dedicated by selecting them as the validator. Proof of history. PO and POS cryptographically verify time between occurrences. It ensures that Solana blockchain transactions are ordered and found by the right leader, validator, method. Each validator counts time and transactions for their block. Verifiable delay functions do this, VDF. Each validator takes exactly 5 seconds to arrive to their position and produce a block through the VDF. VDF is the proof of history methodology. These two algorithms make Solana speedier than previous blockchains. At peak, the crew can process 65,000 transactions per second, although they usually average 3,000 TPS. Comparing to Ethereum's 15 TPS, that's rapid. These techniques also save energy and make Solana more ecologically friendly. SOL Crypto Trading Crypto exchanges are the most common way to trade crypto. Crypto exchanges let consumers purchase and sell SOL, Ether, Bitcoin, and Dogecoin. They operate like stock exchanges and brokerage firms, but consumers trade cryptocurrencies instead of equities. Gemini, Coinbase, and FTX allow SOL trading. For newbies, Centralized exchanges like this are easiest to use. Alternatively, use a decentralized exchange, DX. These operate like centralized exchanges but on a network of computers. They're unregulated. You need crypto to buy SOL on a DEX. A DEX can convert USDC to SOL, but it cannot buy SOL from your bank account. Once you understand blockchain and how to secure yourself, decentralized exchanges are worth investigating. Crypto brokers follow. Centralized providers facilitate cryptocurrency trades between users and cryptocurrency markets. Users aren't trading at market prices. Brokers establish prices. 
brokers fit advanced users better, not beginners. Solana Wallet Purchase Several wallets can store Solana crypto and NFTs. Investigate who has access to your data. Phantom is a popular non-custodial wallet that allows you keep your SOL wallet to yourself. Custodial wallet providers can access your private keys. Phantom non-custodial wallets let just you access your data, NFTs, and funds. Phantom makes buying. CryptoPunks and Moonbirds, two popular NFT projects, have long faced such challenges. The NFT ecosystem's CC0 argument has grown. With the NFT industry spotlight shining a bright light on this emerging ecosystem, who knows what fantastic projects will launch next. So will you invest in Solana NFT? Do share your opinions with us in the comments and subscribe to our channel to learn more about cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching.